Hello Traders, Gary Wagner here. Just about 10 o'clock in San Francisco, 1 o'clock in New York. It is Tuesday, November the 15th, and this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Coming to you from San Francisco today, we will be back to our studios in Hawaii tomorrow. We do have the precious metals trading higher today. Gold trading up approximately a dollar to a dollar fifty. We are looking at COMEX futures. Current print is twelve twenty three ten, putting it up about a dollar forty on the day, about a tenth of a percent. We've seen a trade to a low of twelve eighteen and a high of twelve thirty one. It's really the low that we want to talk about today. Over to silver. Silver also trading higher up about a half a percent on the day or a nine cent move at sixteen dollars and ninety eight again looking at silver futures it has traded to a low of sixteen eighty two and a high of seventeen thirteen now the dollar which had been basically unchanged to lower for the better part of the day is in essence unchanged fractionally higher on the day but we've witnessed a tremendous surge in a breakout in the u.s dollar uh, since uh, the election has been held. Dow Jones Industrial is still trading, but it's currently down about two points at 18,866. And the opposite is true with the Standard & Poor's. That is trading up about 10 points at 2171, up about a half a percent. And then finally, crude oil. Crude oil has stalled the really the downturn that we've seen over the last couple of days. Today, trading up about 5% on the day, an increase of over $2 per barrel at 45.51. Let's take a look at our first chart. So traders, absolutely no doubt, it is good to see the precious metals complex up as a whole. But traders, I, I'm not so sure we're out of the water yet, but there is some encouraging, encouraging uh, technical evidence that we could be forming some sort of a bottom. Of course, if we do not, because we're at such a key level, as we spoke about yesterday, the fall from grace, if it does break below this uh, 12 11 to 1209 area which is a 50 percent retracement of the year's low to the year's high if we break below that then we do have a, a couple of cents to go about 1190 is the first area below that it is pretty much a free fall until we would get to about 1160 1150 in that area that being said though as I said, we do have some encouraging signs. I'm going to convert this uh, to our daily chart. I've just gone ahead and done that so you can get a, a better sense or a feel for what we're looking at over these last couple of days. Of course, yesterday is the day when we actually challenged these lows. Uh, on Friday, we had that tremendous drop again with the market literally having a high of 1265, opening at about 1258 and then closing at 12.24, so at, what, a $25 drawdown day. The following day, meaning yesterday, we had the market open really at, what, uh, 12.26, closing at about 12.21, but that's after reaching this low down here at about 12.12. So this is a really an inside day in terms of the range. It is a green candle, and more importantly, we're staying above this particular trend line. Now, the, the key is, uh, or Fibonacci retracement, excuse me. Now, the key is when we look at this and you look at all the historical data throughout uh, this area, as we spoke about yesterday, March into April here, and then this other area right here, we do have technical evidence that this is a supportive price point for gold. Uh, gold, we hit 12 hundred on the last move down at the end of May but as you can see all of the real bodies all of the real bodies of that particular move let me move this over a little bit you can see stayed above this particular price point you had a couple of lows go in there so because of that because of that I think that we have an excellent opportunity on a technical basis to see this market form a base yet however we have not gotten technical evidence that the bottom is in play but we're seeing the first signs and that to me is positive news after watching this market decline from well over 1300 to the low 1200s so traders a very very similar scenario when we look at silver silver up about nine cents today 
what we're looking at is simply a daily chart. That daily chart has one Fib retracement, which starts at the low that we hit this year, just a, just shy of $14. Hard to believe. Up to this top, the record high we received this year at 2118. My God, silver has been really active when we look at the, the totality of the range. Now, I've added a Fib retracement, and the only line that we're actually focusing on right here is a 61% retracement at 1660. So like gold, uh, this particular fall took it to a critical FIB number. 61% is actually a much more uh, important FIB number. It's a real FIB number. 50% has been used by stock traders and commodity traders as we found there was some validity there. But as you can see, as this market came down, and again, this is a daily chart. Yesterday, just as in gold, the lows tested this area of 1660. It closed above it, closing at roughly, what, uh, 1689. It is trading higher today, and it is flirting with $17 uh, per ounce. I believe that if we see a bottom form in silver, we'll see a bottom form in gold also. I think that both of them would occur at the same time. In other words, this has been Gary Wagner wishing you, as always, good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow from Hawaii for another daily update and review. Have a great day. Bye-bye.